Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon Rising in Venus and it is for November 2021. So I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and see what we have for you. Message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. Okay, first card has fallen out. Remember Aquarius, these readings won't resonate with everybody and... They are mainly messages, so just bear that in mind. So we have release as a message. That is your first message. Message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. What is the message from Spirit for Aquarius? So we have forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. Act, the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. So some transformational energy coming on could be linked to forgiveness and release here. Let's pull a card from Archangel Michael deck. What do we have for Aquarius, please? What is the message from Spirit for Aquarius? Thank you. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. I have shield yourself. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield. <clears throat> surround, it, surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep, to my, keep my loved ones safe with regard to this situation. So shield yourself, forgiveness, release. I mean, it's all fo it's following some kind of theme here. Let's see what we get from Spirit with the cards. What is the message from Spirit for Aquarius, please? Starting with what this situation is. What is the message from Spirit for Aquarius? What is the focus? Thank you. So six of wands is the area of focus. We have the five of wands. In terms of how spirit is supporting you, the devil Aquarius has come out as well. I mean, sometimes the devil can be you're dealing with a Capricorn, but it generally shows the energy of the devil in some way. And the outcome, we have you in your power. I mean, the Queen of Swords is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, male or female energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. So certainly an energy of having faith, a higher power at work higher guidance at work. Sometimes that hierophant can be to do with seeking spiritual counsel from a spiritual leader, so a holy person. It's interesting, there's rooks outside and they've started, <laughs> they've started uh, squawking. Um, we have the Six of Wands. So, Certainly with these energies here, there has been a fundamental issue and it might well be for some of you that this fundamental issue requires some kind of forgiveness and release and it's however you choose to release this now. The five of wands can be some ongoing issue or an issue that just goes round and round in circles. Sometimes it can get more and more heated, more and more of a thing. However, this victory energy can signify overcoming the challenge in a victorious way, claiming some kind of significant achievement over that challenge. 
um, and feeling pretty good about it, Aquarius. So whatever this challenge is, this is the month where you overcome it. Now, this can sometimes also be to do with competing for something, uh, pitting yourself in the ring, for example, against other people. And this is a win, a victory over what has challenged you, what has conflicted you or what you've been competing for in some way. So let's, I'm going to pull an extra card for this devil energy. Let's pull an extra card for this devil energy for Aquarius. Thank you. I've got <laughs> Queen of Swords. So for some of you, it can be you are cutting cords in some way, breaking some kind of unhealthy attachment or experience. Because the Queen of Swords is a great energy of balance, but also an energy of, of bringing down that sword and understanding what's serving her and what's not serving her now. Let's pull an extra card for that one. The Knight, <laughs> Knight of Swords. So communication, news, information, conversations that enable you to release from some kind of devil energy. The devil is a card of unhealthy cycles and again something has been going round and round in circles which is not serving your highest good in whatever this situation is this devil energy is an energy of of codependency manipulation power struggles possession addiction and the addiction can be whatever that is you know could be smoking smoking gambling shopping i mean you know has an array of meanings. However, it feels like there's some deep conversation. The Queen of Swords is very good at getting to the truth of something and understanding how to cut away that which doesn't serve her because she stands in the light of truth. So she, she's certainly wanting to deal with whatever this devil energy is. And it might well be there's some news or communication or conversation here which allows you to cut those cords and restore balance in some way. This is an energy of release and I feel dealing with a situation that's not serving your highest good. Let's understand what this Five of Wands is about because I think we need a bit more information, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. I've just got these Swords energies. Victory over the conflict. The Ace of Swords is the clarity that you need to make decisions, choices, and it can be um, to cut cords. Now, this can also be a card of truth. Some truth that you're dealing with. Let's get more information on that, please. <clears throat> Or it can sometimes be seeing the reality of the situation and somebody wanting to end conflict now and overcome it by taking action. The Six of Wands is an action energy. Seven of Cups, choices, decisions, but generally there's confusion to do with this. Which way do I go? What do I do? In order to overcome the challenge because somebody is facing a heavy burden here. Something's been going round and round in circles here and it's to do with some kind of heavy burden. And I feel somebody have has certain choices to make or decisions to make. I mean, this can also be to do with opportunity, the Seven of Cups. Um, and the clarity, the clarity that you need to deal with this situation Let's clarify this Queen of Swords, please. Well, now let's do this one, the Six of Wands. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. So an energy of planting new seeds. Very good in terms of news to do with a money or career opportunity. It has the Pentacle energy, so it can naturally lend itself to be money, career, finances. This can also be an energy of overcoming challenge and planting new seeds in some way. 
I feel that you're claiming a victory. I mean, certainly if this is money, career, finances, Aquarius, where it's been a struggle. I mean, certainly there's an energy of competition. It is an energy of conflict in the sense that people compete against each other. So there is that conflicting energy because everybody wants to be heard with the Five of Wands energy. I feel that there is it's a burden that you've been carrying for some time. But there's certainly an energy here of hopes, dreams and wishes and maybe getting some clarity or breakthrough energy that will bring an end to this period of struggle. Because there's a message to do with maybe some career or financial opportunity. For others of you, this is an opportunity of reviewing your options, but not, you know, and getting clarity in which way you're going to go to overcome some kind of challenge. So that could be in terms of a relationship here and how you're going to get new level of stability, plant new seeds in some way. Again, the message is balance is restored through, through conversation, communication. That can be about facing truths. That can be to do with getting balance back in your life because of some kind of opportunity appearing. Let's clarify the heart. Let's do the hierophant. The Wheel of Fortune with the Hierophant. I mean, a lot of divine energy. It's almost like the universe is saying you're going to get exactly what you want because these two energies together are really beautiful. It's like the universe bringing in exactly what you need and exactly what you want. There's such an energy of a higher power at work. It's almost like the universe is giving... I mean, the, the will of fortune is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. It is an energy of beneficial energy coming with it clarifying the hierophant. It's almost like the universe is giving you a gift on a silver platter. Let's clarify that Queen of Swords because this is an energy of balance is restored and you can finally cut cords with whatever this devil represented. And that devil can represent being stuck in an unhealthy environment in some way. It can even sometimes be a boss or a work environment that we don't like. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Balance is being restored. This is great in terms of material gain, money, career, finances. Uh, it's a great energy of somebody who is getting recognition for what they do and being paid accordingly. So hard work being rewarded. It feels like there's an energy here with a page of pentacles. If this is to do with money, career, finances, Aquarius, you're, the message is your hard work is rewarded and you're, giving, you're given some kind of good fortune, timely good fortune on a plate by God, the universe, the divine. There's a higher power at work and it's very clear here. And it allows you to release and make peace with what's gone before because there's certainly an energy of protecting yourself now, doing what you need to protect yourself. This can also be, if it's to do with relationships, because the Hierophant can be to do with, you know, existing relationships, marriage even, it can be about working through something. Working through a lot of hard work, um, but working through situations to restore balance in some way. And there's certainly an energy of this wonderful transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. You know, this, this is a lovely energy, just embracing new life cycles, things opening up for you, because there's an energy of working through something. Let's see if Spirit has any other message. Any other message, please? I mean, the, these two energies are absolutely beautiful because it's Spirit giving you some kind of beneficial gift. Ace of, sorry, King of Swords. This is you and your power. And again, we have two Queen of Swords. For some of you, this can be a relationship, like I said. 
And it's generally two people who would match each other perfectly, the king and queen of swords, whether it's male or female energy, it's irrelevant. But it might well be for some of you, you're ready to embrace new horizons on an existing relationship and you've overcome some kind of rocky patch and the devil is whatever that devil is to you. For others of you, it might well be a period of good fortune is being given to you on a silver platter by spirit because there is certainly an energy of financial benefit coming your way as well. Financial recognition, material gain. Let's get one more card. Oh, I've got these cards now. Nine of Cups, Heart's Desire, getting exactly what you want. With the Ten of Cups, spiritual blessings, happy home, happy family, and fighting for that. Being prepared to overcome any obstacle that stands in your way to achieve that, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I mean, this, this, it's an energy of all's well, all's going to be well, all's going to end well. There is certainly significant effort here. I feel that there is a particular devil energy that has to be dealt with here. But there's certainly an energy of someone's effort and determination is going to restore the rainbow of blessings here, which is always a beautiful energy because spirit is bringing in some beneficial energy here either opening up deeper and more spiritual uh, and greater spiritual understanding within a relationship, opening up some kind of new life cycle here and a period of beneficial energy and happiness and love being restored. There is also an energy with the, the, the money areas here of maybe some new financial opportunity, some communication linked to your hopes and dreams and getting recognized and noticed and claiming a significant achievement in money career terms, restoring balance. I feel that is also the energy here for some of you as well because this is all about shielding yourself. Some of you may have been not happy with the current work environment and so you're taking steps or certainly spirit is encouraging you to take action. Six of Wands is an action energy to claim a victory. And I feel in this energy that will enable you to cut cords with this devil, whatever this devil was in the workplace or work environment, and embrace some good fortune. But these energies, are, uh, you have the opportunity to get exactly what you want. But you have to take action, you have to face truths, and you have to be in your truth and understand that when you allow yourself to um, put a plan into action in however you're dealing with this, you understand how to overcome the situation and restore balance and happiness and joy. It's beautiful. But I feel that there's a fun, that there is certainly an issue that you've been dealing with. Okay, final message for Aquarius. Final message for Aquarius. Sometimes this can be an energy of needing to forgive other people, and that might well be the message here. We do have communication here. Uh, but this can also be an energy of allowing, you know, sometimes we allow situations to happen for whatever reason. You know, certainly that devil energy is very alluring and, and attractive. And we stay because it's sometimes comfortable, or, you know, that could be in a work environment, but it's not for our highest good. And I feel this can sometimes be an energy of releasing from something now and forgiving you, making peace with situations now because you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your world and what matters. We have holders in your heart, not in your home. It's okay to declutter, beautiful. And we have spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you, number 13. I mean, that's very good in terms of the business area as well. The, the, the butterfly appearing in your reading also represents transformation. So some good fortune and transformation is available to you. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.